Good day to you all. I'm going to talk about general anesthesia in this lecture. My name is Dr. Yasser Osman, and this lecture is going to cover the steps of performing general anesthesia. These steps will be further explained in some details in following lectures. But knowledge of the general scheme of general anesthesia will help you to correlate between the different following lectures and to study it in a more easy way. General anesthesia passes through three phases. First, the induction of general anesthesia, second, maintenance of general anesthesia, and the last one is the recovery of general anesthesia. The induction of general anesthesia. Before starting induction, the patient may be given some sedative or analgesic. IV access should be established. This can be done through a cannula or other means. And the patient is connected to the monitor. Induction of general anesthesia can be done in two ways. Either inhalational induction. This is mainly used for children. And it is done by letting the child breathe through the face mask, the anesthetic gas, till he falls asleep or intravenous induction, and this is by injecting the anesthetic drug through the intravenous line. Step two in induction is to give muscle relaxant. We have two main categories of muscle relaxant, the depolarizing muscle relaxant and the non-depolarizing muscle relaxant. Step three is to keep the patient ventilated using mask ventilation in most cases till the muscle relaxant is completely functional and the patient is completely paralyzed. Step four is to secure the airway by inserting an endotracheal tube or a subglottic device, example, laryngeal mask airway. Step five is to secure the patient ventilation by connecting him to a ventilator. And step six is to recheck everything again. This step is very important to make sure that we did not miss anything during the process of induction. Now, the second phase of general anesthesia is maintenance. What do we do in maintenance? Maintenance refers to the period beginning with the onset of surgical anesthesia and ending with emergence of the patient. Surgery starts at the beginning of this phase. During this phase, we should maintain unconsciousness, analgesia, and muscle relaxation. The important goals during this phase are maintaining adequate organ function, vital signs, and appropriate fluid and blood replacement. The muscle relaxant used during this phase are the non-depolarizing agent. It is given in increment dose to maintain full muscle relaxation during the operation time. Oxygen and volatile anesthetic agent, example isoflurane, and increment doses of opioid for example, fentanyl should be given to maintain unconsciousness and analgesic. The last phase of the general anesthesia is the recovery. When the operation is concluded, the anesthetics should be stopped. Stop the volatile anesthetic only. Oxygen is the only thing that is allowed to continue. Reverse the effect of muscle relaxant by giving the appropriate antidote if needed. Extubate the patient fully awake and only when the laryngeal reflexes returns. 
Thank you.